Marshawn Brooks was probably born to play basketball. After several seasons overseas, he made his debut in the Turkish Airlines EuroLeague at the age of 25, quickly becoming a key player for EA7 Emporio Armani Milan. Like many other players, basketball was his destiny because it was important in his family. But unlike many other players, it was the females around him as a boy who led him to love the game. I mean, as far as I can remember, they put the basketball in my hand. Uh, I was born into a situation where I had my mom, my aunt, my grandmother, and I had a couple cousins that played basketball that were males. And uh, I remember playing basketball with them early, and then me and my mom, uh, we moved to Atlanta, Georgia. Just me and her, and uh, she just kept me on that track. His mother was a fundamental influence, but she wasn't the only one. My mom and my aunt were phenomenal high school basketball players. My uh, aunt actually went on to play college, and uh, she's now a WNBA ref. So, I mean, it's all throughout our family. Besides playing as much as he could, from a very young age, Brooks was watching basketball close up too, thanks to his aunt. I just remember going to her game. She was refereeing high school when I was around three or four or five and six. Now she's actually one of the, uh, one of the best referees in the WBA. It wasn't long before Marshawn was shooting hoops in his home and playing with older members of his family. Organized basketball around five, uh, but I was playing shooting at three, four. <laughs> I was fortunate enough to have a, uh, a basketball court in my driveway, so I was shooting as far as I can remember, trying to play with my older cousins. <laughs> Although there were moments when he tried other sports, there was never any doubt in the mind of Brooks or of his mother as to which one he would pursue seriously. Yeah, I played football growing up too, but uh, basketball was just my first love. It was, I mean, like I said, as far as I can remember, I've been playing organized basketball when I was this big. My mom has the pictures on the refrigerator, it's kind of cute. But uh, yeah, I, I would definitely say that she pushed me towards basketball. And I, that's what I wanted as well. Brooks was always a talented shooter and scorer, but it took a lot more than that to impress his mum. She's my biggest critic. You know, scoring has always been something that came easy for me, since even since I was little. I could shoot, just score. She would always say, well, you had this many points. How many rebounds did you have? How many assists did you have? How many steals? So it's hard to impress my mom. I would say I would tell you that even to this day. Although Brooks never really played basketball with his mum, she was always the driving force behind his development into becoming a professional. Well, I played with my mom one time, one time. I probably was six or seven at the time, but uh, she just made sure I was on track. You know, take me to practice on time, making sure I was early to the gym, and then. You know, on top of that, after practice, I would go play with my friends. After all these years, his mother and his aunt still provide Brooks with invaluable advice. We definitely talk, and they watch all my games, so they have their advice, their two cents they throw in. <laughs> of course, that's never going to stop, especially from my mom. And my aunt, she's a little easier on me, but my mom, yeah. The conclusion for Marshawn Brooks is clear. Men can definitely learn from women in the sport of basketball. What matters isn't gender, but rather devotion. No question. Uh, female or male, I don't really think it makes a difference. We're talking about two females that averaged 20 in high school and went on to college. My aunt went on to college to be a great player. and then So uh, it really doesn't matter her gender, but uh, yeah, I think it was a, a great advantage.